So you love your dad because he believes in you. And when you were a youngin, he said something like, Well, I can't help thinking you might really amount to something if you'd set your mind to it. And as a dad, I can tell you that most dads really want just one thing for Father's Day. A big hug and a heartfelt thanks for doing a thankless job. But if you want to add to your dad's man cave, we can help you there. Just make sure you don't leave it all in the hands of the mother because if it's up to her, it'll be breakfast in bed, he'll get flowers and some shiatsu massage by a white guy with a ponytail named Carlos. Yeah. So right off at the top for geek dads who love sound and portability and don't want to be hung up by a headphone, they want to fill the room with sound, that's where Bose SoundLink Mini comes in. The features that stand out here is that it connects via Bluetooth or a 1 8 auxiliary import. It ranges up to 30 feet, has up to 7 hours of battery life, and includes a charging cradle and the most compact speaker that Bose offers. Now the one downside, and it's not really a downside, is that it really can't compare with a full speaker system. Seems obvious, but it should be said that it's not going to provide you with the same low rich frequency that some bass lovers might be looking forward to. You're really going to need a full stereo sound system for that. But if you love portability, this has outstanding sound. Next up is the Jaybird Blue Bud X, and in my opinion, I've had them myself for a long time. They are the best buds out there for the price. So the two big issues with most people who use earbuds is the fact that they don't stay in your ear very well if you're very active, and two, the cords get tangled and wrapped around things that they shouldn't. And the Jaybird deals with this very, very well. They have something called the ear cushion, and it takes a little bit of doing to fit in the ear. You gotta find the right one for for your ear, there's different sizes, and once you know how to secure it properly, it stays in your ear better than any other buds I've ever used. And the cords itself is not springy, it's not coiled, and so it doesn't tend to wrap around things uh, like other types of cords would. I like it a lot. I really have nothing bad to say about it, other than the fact that they are a little bit at the expensive end. Now for those of you who love comfort and high quality sound, we gotta talk the M50X. In the box includes a protective carrying pouch, which really comes in handy, a 6.3 millimeter screw on adapter, a three meter straight cable, a 1.2 meter straight cable, and a three meter coiled cable. The positives here is that they are great looking headphones, fantastic build quality, has excellent sound for the price, and long cords are provided. Now the negatives is that the cords are proprietary cords. If you lose them, break them, you have to buy those specific cords again from Audio-Technica. And the sound stage is somewhat lacking. So for all you audio noobs out there, what is sound stage? Well, sound stage is the ability to perceive where the instruments are laid in and around your head. So for example, if I'm listening to Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, then I'm able to perceive where the violins are, where the French horns are, in and around my head. That is pretty cool. And in this headphone, soundstage is not spectacular. But for the price, it is a spectacular set of headphones. Now let's talk about what most dads are going to care about most, and that's their smartphone. And what kind of list would this be without mentioning the Galaxy S5? One of the best phones for 2014, it features a water and dust resistant design, beefed up durability, lightning fast performance, and quite frankly, a fantastic camera. It's available for nearly every carrier, no matter what dad uses, it'll work. It features top of the line specs right across the board with a Snapdragon 801 clocked at 2.5 gigahertz at 1080p AMOLED 5.1 inch display, two gigabytes of RAM and a 2800 milliamp hour battery with unique power saving features. Now the second phone to talk about if you have a big budget for a smartphone is the HTC One M8. It's often called the first phone to feel like a piece of jewelry because it's that refined. It sports a five inch 1080p display with a 2.3 gigahertz quad core Qualcomm Snapdragon 801. That means it's fast. Two gigabytes of RAM. It also sports an ultra pixel dual camera. Now it has a four megapixel rear facing camera, but a five megapixel front facing camera, proving that the selfie is more important sometimes than taking pictures of the world around you. And some people have knocked this phone because it has that low megapixel count, but it does provide a almost DSLR 
uh, quality of pictures and it performs really well in low lights. But if you have a really big priority with crop factor, this may not be the camera for you. But it does also sport a 2600 milliamp hour battery and it runs 4.4 KitKat. If you prefer a 5 inch phone and you're fond of HTC Sense, then this may be the camera for you. Now, for those of you who are a bit more budget conscious, you may want to consider the Moto G. And while it's not a mini edition of a phone, the Moto G does bear a close resemblance to the flagship Moto X, with the main difference being a thicker profile. And oftentimes when you talk about a budget phone, you think that it is a uh, low build quality, but the Moto G is quite different. It's a quality Android phone with a budget price tag, and that's the amazing thing about it. The Moto G sports a 4.5 inch 720p display with a Snapdragon 400 quad core processor running at 1.2 gigahertz. It has one gigabytes of RAM, eight to 16 gigabytes of storage, and a 2070 milliamp hour battery. It also has a five megapixel rear facing camera and a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera. You should also know that the Moto G has received its Android 4.4 KitKat update. We can recommend the Moto G to anyone looking for an affordable smartphone, but also to anyone who wants a phone that just works great right out of the box. Now we also got to talk about the Xperia Z2. For those among you with a dad that appreciates a relaxing moment on the couch and likes to have a nice thin top of the line tablet that also is water resistant and durable, look no further than the Xperia Z2. It's the lightest 10 inch Android tablet in the world and boasts a beautiful angular design. It's one of our favorites for 2014, and we highly recommend it. And of course, we have to talk about the Nexus 7. It's still one of the best deals on the market when it comes to Android tablets, and will always be updated with the latest version of Android to ensure that it operates quickly and securely. Plus, the 7-inch tablet form factor is one of the most loved around the world, and for good reason. It's highly portable, boasts a best-in-class 1900 by 1200 IPS LCD display and is a good deal at around $230. There's often deals on it, so be on the lookout. You can't go wrong with a Nexus 7. For those of you considering a smartwatch, let's talk the Pebble Steel. Pebble's latest smartwatch, the Pebble Steel, is the more formal of their two versions. It features a cool e-ink display that boasts exceptional battery life and is capable of doing quite a bit. It also has its own app store via Google Play and plays nice with all other major platforms. It's still considered to be the one, if not the best smartwatch available to date. Thanks for watching guys. Love to connect with you here on Google Plus or Twitter. Happy, happy Father's Day. After you hug your dad, check out some new content from Josh, Joe, and the Tech Ninja Kevin and Chris and Lon. We're all trying to build the best content we can here on Android Authority.